Hello, hello. Here is the video you have all been waiting for. We are here to discuss topper grips. Now, I'm going to put it out there. I'm definitely no expert in topper grips. I've actually never worn one out of the house. I've just tried it on. So today is going to be a demonstration of how I um, attach the topper grip to the topper and then also to my head. Now, before we get into it, we are beginning to send topper grips with um, all of our topper purchases, like obviously like regarding if we've got any in stock. So we've got a big shipment coming in. So they will all be sent out with any topper purchases. We're not selling them for individual sale as of yet because we'd rather just give them out for free, to be honest, with the purchases. And because we haven't really tested them too much and we haven't really received customer feedback, so I don't really feel 100% confident to sell them just yet. So if you do receive your topper in the post with a topper grip, we would love for you to try it, test it out, and then give us your feedback so we can move forward with what we're basically going to do with it. All right, so let's first attach it to the topper. Now, this is probably the most tricky part because um, it's a bit of a maneuver. Now, this is the grip here. So it's it's a velvety sort of feel, similar to a wig grip, if you felt that before. And it causes like friction on your head. I guess the purpose of the topper grip is old, essentially like the purpose of the topper grip is to wear no clips on your hair. However, with these bigger bases, it is a little bit more difficult to not wear any of the clips. So you'll probably have to put at least one or two clips in the back just to make it super secure. And especially if you've got a busy day running around and doing all sorts of things, the last thing you'd probably want is your topper to be on the ground and you're somewhere else. So let's just, um, while we're learning, make sure we've got a couple of clips in at least. All right, so we've got these little pockets here uh, where the clips will attach. And um, this string, it sort of goes on like a headband on the top of your head string goes behind which secures it this string is adjustable as well so that can be adjusted so let's just let's just give it a go so i'm going to slide um, some of the front comb into the one of those little slots here all right so i've got it there now the next bit is i'm going to clip the teeth of the clips through the topper grip there. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So I'm just gonna put the, sorry, I need to have like a close up cameraman, woman, man doing this. All right, so now the topper grip has been clipped in to the topper and we've got the string here. So now I'm just going to put the topper on exactly how I would put it on. So I'm going to hold on to the string, flip the topper over, and then I'm going to put the string underneath my hair and then pull my hair out from under the string. Because with a topper, obviously your bio hair is going to be out. So it's not like a wig where I could probably just keep the string on top. I will need to adjust it. All right, so I have got the grip on and I've currently got no clips in. I still need to comb through my hair just to blend it. But it's already feeling quite secure on my head without actually attaching any of the clips. Now, this topper is much longer than my bio hair, as you can see. And it also hasn't been cut, so it doesn't have too much shape going for it. But I think it's still a good test just to see um, how the grip works. Now I can still blend in my front bio hair with the topper grip on, and it's actually not looking too, too awkward or wrong on my head. I'm actually quite surprised to be very frank with you. Okay, so now because this is a larger base, let's just not clip anything in and just see what happens. Like, yeah, I can move my head if I wasn't doing like any sort of work where I was going to be getting in and out of the car, going here, there, bending, 
here, turning, like all of that, it would probably actually be fine to wear this just on its own. And I'm not even kidding. It actually, because I was very skeptical before making this video and I was saying to Holly, who's standing over there, and, and George, like there's no way that this is, but it's actually quite secure. And I'm very shocked. All right, so let's put two clips in at the back. Now the benefit of our larger caps is that these back clips are not where it's going to be anywhere like tense for the for bio hair. So the most sensitive area of the scalp I find is this front bit, which is where you want to avoid, you know, clipping as much as humanly possible. However, our clips regardless are super soft. So it's not like a topper grip is not compulsory by any means. Like I've never worn one until like literally just now. Okay, so let's see if it ties up with the grips. I'm just going to flip my hair, blend it, and let's tie it up. So when I'm coming up close, so you definitely, it's not visible at all, this grip. Okay, so I'll just put it in a loose side bun. It's actually very secure. Okay, well, there you go. There is my first little video for you with the topper grip. All in all, I'm actually very pleasantly surprised and very shocked that this actually works. And yeah, so claps to the topper grip. I think it's a winner. I think you're gonna love it. But definitely when you receive your grip, let me know and we'd love to hear your feedback. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.